the BLA Fit headquarters and uh, show you where your BLA Fit is coming from. BLA Fit is that little facial training device that you see me use in videos and uh, it's also part of my programs both embodiment and breath course and I want you guys to meet the creatrix and founder of BLA Fit Dr. Miriam and her um, helper Natalie uh, from BLA Fit they are awesome people I want you guys to see that that this is uh, where an example where you put your heart behind a product it's it's not um, so many products that you buy out there are like not personal it's, it's just uh, there's no soul and spirit behind it this product the BLA Fit is backed by science it's backed by professionalism it's backed by love and sweat and really real care for you guys in the, um, let me let me show you the headquarters BLA Fit just gonna turn my camera and go see Dr. Miriam oh just need to, uh, I just did my workout uh, I'm dead <laughs> Getting out of that car was like a real struggle. So there it is, the home of BLA Fit. Polar lips, lifted cheeks, and defined jawline. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you have any questions to ask, let's see. Hello. I thought you guys were filming today. Uh, yeah, we are at 12. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to Welcome you to, you to meet Hi, my followers. This is Hi. Dr. Marion. Hi. Yes, I'm going to be picking up a BLA Fit order today. Thank you Here's so much. So this is where your order is coming from. This amazing woman is the one who created do you guys have any questions to Dr. Miriam? Let me know. <laughs> have a great Monday, everybody. Yes, and I've been telling our followers here that, you know, this product, I wanted them to see where it's coming from because this is where you pack and ship them mm -hmm. and you make sure in person, yes, that every product quality. has the China. quality. Yes. So this, this is not made in China. No. This is not that mass production, you know, just... This is care. <laughs> this All made in USA. I have my here at home. Yeah. And I am going to be shipping this to one of the participants for my embodiment course. To where? Oregon State. Wow. Yeah, just a little up north. And uh, so when I ship them, that's because it's part of my program. BLA Fit is part of my training program. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> Yes, we get to work with this. Get into the body, create yes. beauty and alignment and training and happiness. I, I can't wait to have you back in our uh, Amazon life. <gasps> I can't wait to be back. Okay, so we have a question. Does the BLA fit help with TMJ disorder from Jenny? Yeah, it will definitely improve your myofacial pain, mm -hmm. um, clenching uh, disorders. You will be more stretched less clenched, uh, adds to your meditation mm -hmm. and, and parasympathetic nervous system activation so you're more calm. Most patients with TMJ, they take all the pressure here. We're just releasing that pressure. Fundamentally fixing TMJ, I, I'm not sure. We haven't done much research on that. We are still in this practice treating patients with TMJ, which is appliances that we make to put the bike in alignment Mm -hmm. But every TMJ patient gets a BLA appliance as a physical therapy mode for their facial muscles. Yes, rehabilitation because it's not only enough to to do the work, it needs to stay like that and function Some, needs to be yeah. worked at. And it all depends. If a patient has just my facial pain from clenching, this will really help. But if you mm -hmm. have a disc issue where you're clicking and the bite is in an incorrect position and you're clenching because your bite is in an incorrect position, then we have to kind of fundamentally fix the bite and do the pelvic Yes, yes. And I also am Dr. Maram's patient. 
as well as the developer of the programs at Pavic Jalim in incorporating the BLFA device. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> the best. She is the best. We had one session with her here on Amazon Live. Yeah. And it was Out crazy. There. <laughs> it was crazy. I can't wait to do it again. Sylvia is a mountain of knowledge. So Jenny says she has an NTI. I don't even know what an NTI yeah, is. NTI is an appliance that moves the lower jaw forward mm -hmm. and holds it in the front at night. Oh. It will put the back teeth away from each other so you can't clench. But the Bellwick appliance is going to get the muscles that being locked in one position at night released. Mm -hmm. So what this does is not the same as what the uh, NTI does. What BLA does, especially when you learn to do the vertical exercise mm -hmm. and move the lower jaw forward, you're actually getting the jaw muscles that's been locked in one position stretched with resistance. I, um, I can't like, describe how it feels because I, I worked out last night before sleep and this morning it just feels like your facial muscles are so relaxed. Oh yeah. All those tension areas that the clenching masseter, it just relaxes. Um, so, I won't say don't use your NTI, but use the Bella Lip appliance before you put the mm -hmm. NTI and in the morning when you take it out to get you ready to put your back up. Yes, yeah. yeah, and I love what you just said there, and thanks for that good question. She says she still feels the tension in her jaw. Yeah. That's why, because you yeah. need to learn, Jenny and everybody listening, how to release the muscle. I always say and teach in my trainings that a muscle that knows how to relax knows how to be trained. Yes. Absolutely. And good muscles role is to hold the joints in place. We so need we're nice training that. Muscles. We need our facial muscles to be tight enough but loose enough. Tight enough to that we can keep the disc in position, mm -hmm. freedom click and lock, but loose enough to be able to have function and range of motion. So that is like a um, very, very uh, complicated part for clinicians that treat TMJ because we're all so worried about positioning the joint. Nobody's working with the muscles. And where muscles are getting injections or where we usually refer patients to physical therapy or osteopath or whatever uh, clinicians that work with the facial muscles. But if you're not wanting to do that, the Bell Lip Appliance is going to be your trainer. And me. With, well, <laughs> the, the exercising device with the trainer mm -hmm. to teach you how to do it from home, then you're set. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that you want to do once, you want to do it all the time. Okay, cool. Yeah, and she had one more question about the Botox, and this yes. is the last one. Can you ask me a question? Oh, yes. The x rays without the appliance, right? Without the appliance. One sec, you job, guys. Just relax. Yeah. Go yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yeah, so she's asking about the Botox. Okay, so there <laughs> is indications for Botox, I would say, but Botox is not something that I suggest in my practice and my husband in his medical practice. Because what it is, is you're adding toxin to your system, mm -hmm. to your muscle, to paralyze your muscle. Yeah. There was a reason we had these muscles. And if it was supposed to be paralyzed, then we wouldn't have it. And the more we do Botox, I don't know, in 30, 40, 50 years, maybe evolutionary, we don't use those muscles as much. We will deteriorate and our faces will sag more and we need more fillers yeah. and so forth. So I'm mm -hmm. not with Botox. When you have muscles that have tense spots, if you learn to release the stress, mm -hmm. if you learn to release those li uh, ligaments and those areas of the muscle bands that are tight, you do not need Botox. Patients that have Botox, they tell me that when they're chewing, it doesn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it is only for a month that they get some relief. Mm -hmm. You're looking at every two, three months injecting, and it's just, remember, it's, temporary. it's still temporary mm -hmm. and it's still toxins. We don't have a long-term, longitudinal study on the effect of Botox in our whole system as a whole. Mm -hmm. We don't know. And my husband, who's a medical doctor, he's also an immunologist, and he is anti-Botox. Yeah. But again, I'm sure there's areas that Botox will be helpful, but we don't suggest it in my practice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at all. Yes. Yeah, so guys, thank 
Dr. Ma'am, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you for Julia. your time. I know you're so busy. This is like your official day off, and here you are working. Yeah. Wait, I had an emergency <laughs> patient from oh Portland, and then we we're going to Portland, Amazon Oregon. Yeah. Going to Oregon. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> Bye. Guys. Bye.